Okay, so today's Diamond Call, we are talking about how to pop emeralds, and then we're going to go into a little bit more about how to get those emeralds to diamond. So pushing them a little further once they've hit emerald, and how to continue to help them build their team. So I have a, a list of things that I put together that I think are my best practices that have been what I've been doing lately that have really been helping me in seeing success. So the first thing, obviously, and I know you guys all do this, is send your welcome email. So once they get signed up, oh my gosh, I'm so excited for you. What's your email? I'm going to shoot, shoot you your welcome email, and that will explain everything you need to know. I just reformatted my email, my welcome email. It's now a Google form. Um, I've shared that with you guys and then shared the video on how to edit it and make it your own. The template was all messed up because she had shared it. I got it from Brooke Lipoff. She had shared it and then somebody screwed it all up. So I had to do it all basically by, like from scratch. And then I, so I have that for you guys to use that template and make it your own if you want. And I know Autumn has already done that and she did, did the seven day group. She ran it straight from what I shared with you from Brooke her videos and everything. She's like, I just wanted to do it. Just wanted to see how it went. Um, and she said it was awesome. Her girls loved it. So that's kind of what my next should do item is, is to put my seven day group together. And I want to be able to start it on Monday. So that's my, my goal kind of thing. And I think that it's a really great process to follow because what she does is she sends the welcome email short and sweet. Um, and then she has them get into the seven day group. It's a seven day Facebook group. And then what she does is that anybody that signed on that week can get added to that group up until 12 noon on Monday. If it's like Wednesday, they got to wait till the next week. So if they sign anytime before noon on Monday and they, they get the email, they finish it. And then they request to be in that seven day group. They don't get into the seven day group until they've, they've sent that form in that they finished that set that welcome email. So she has an assistant that approves everybody. Everybody, does, nobody gets approved until one time when her assistant goes through and sees, did this person complete that form before they get in there? So they complete the form. They request to join the seven day group. And then from there, they have a Monday through Sunday group where you, she's teaching them exactly what to do, how to hit success club, how to, you know, sign new coaches, things like that. And a lot of time people are emerald and hitting success club before she even gets on the phone with them. So she doesn't add them to her team page until they finish and send in that welcome email too, which I thought was kind of cool too, is they don't need to be in there. They need, if they have a question, they can come to you and they can, they can do that welcome email. So it's kind of like, I can't wait to add you to our team page. You'll get to meet so many awesome people. They're just going to love you. You're going to love them. So as soon as you get that form, I get to add you to our group. And it's kind of like people want to belong. So they're like, okay, you know, I want to be in the team. So it's kind of like you're not really officially part of the team until you complete it. And I think that kind of mindset really helps people to shift forward. Let me turn my Facebook off, these stupid things. <clears throat> okay, so that's kind of the, the structure that she does there. And then, okay, so I send my welcome email. And then if they have not texted me and said, hey, I finished it, then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to remind them twice to make sure that they finish it so I can get them into my seven day page. Now, if you're my seven day group. So if you're not doing that yet, we are going to still text them twice to make sure they schedule that getting started right call. So say you're just getting them into coach basics. You're going to still text them twice and make sure that you're, Hey, I haven't seen you schedule. your getting started right call. Everything. Okay. Everything cool. Have you been able to chip away at that welcome email yet? Things like that. I send them two reminders after that. It's kind of their own until maybe next month, maybe I'll follow up with them. But they are obviously not in it to work the business if I send them two reminders and I still hear nothing. So I know to treat them like a discount coach. So you can even down the road say, in the welcome email that I sent, I also made a discount coach. And in our Google Drive is where you'll find it. And you'll also find the forum on how to make it your own. And then I made a separate one for the discount coach, which is a lot less information, basically just teaching them how to set up their profile uh, and go from there. So if somebody says it hasn't done anything, you can always send them a message and be like, Hey, so I just want to check in on you. And maybe you were overwhelmed. I know you're excited to coach and I haven't heard anything from you. Do you want me to just kind of treat you like a discount coach? Are you looking to just get results on your own before you start coaching? I just want to know where your head's at so I can best serve you. So having that conversation either could inspire them or it could give somebody, I'm just really nervous to do this until I have results myself. Okay, girl, I get it. That's totally fine. Let's get you in our challenge group. Let me help you along the way. I can pair you up with another 
coach that's kind of on the same boat. You guys can tag each other for your sweaty selfies. Um, side note, I just started doing that this week in my challenge group. I paired people up and everybody has um, two or three people that each day that they post their sweaty selfie, they tag another person in our challenge group and it's been phenomenal. People like having that accountability and when people are like, hey, where are you at? They're like, oh, I haven't done it yet. I'll do it tomorrow or I'll do it tonight, I promise. So that's also another idea to start doing is pairing, budding people up. And you can also buddy people up uh, that are discount coaches as well so that you can kind of, you know, help them on their journey. Uh, okay, so on the getting started right call, after you do your group or if you're just doing coach basics that you're, you're saying, hey, we need to say you're doing what our current format is, is that you get people into coach basics, you get on the getting started right call as soon as possible. So on your getting started right call, if you're doing that format, what I do is I stress success club and coach basics. And I am just like 85% of your focus needs to be on coach basics because this is information that you need that we don't repeat. We put it in that group for a reason. You will not get it if you do not watch it. So I don't want to not serve you by not telling you this, but it's already there. It's a waste of our breath to tell you again. So coach basics needs to be like 85% of your focus, your main group, your first month and success club, because that means you're helping people. You're getting your shakes paid for, and you're going to be motivating yourself in the process. You're going to be getting great results and getting, you know, your shake paid for. So those are the two biggest things I stress. And then I talk about their goals and their why list. And um, I make them send me a list of their 10, uh, li their 10 why list. I make them write it out and put it somewhere where they're going to see it every day. And I make them send, take a picture and send it to me. So this is things like um, pay off my credit card, hit success club, become Emerald. It can be no matter how big or small. So I say, you know, some can be 30 days goals. Some can be 90 day goals. Some can be like pay off my debt, you know, whatever it is, however big and big or small, put them all there somewhere where you'll see it every day and, and send that to me. And so that's kind of just what I go over on their getting started right call. And then I also ask them if they have any questions, anything they're worried about. And a lot of, I like to ask people, is there anything that you're just not sure that you'll be good at? Or is there anything that you're worried about? And a lot of times I get, like I was talking to a girl yesterday and she was really worried about um, being a teacher and how that she should put it out there to be able to, you know, she ha can she have a public profile if she's got this and things like that. So I was able to pair her up with Courtney, you know, Courtney um, Finnegan on our team, and she's already a teacher. She can talk to her because I have, I really don't know much about that. So I want them to tell me things that they, they struck, that they are worried about. So I can either pair them up with a more veteran coach that can help them better, or I can help them. So this getting started right call will really kind of be the same regardless if I do it with this current coach basics or the seven day group, because it's, it's totally fine to reiterate success club. It's totally fine to reiterate, you know, your whys, your goals and things like that. And then you just ask about any questions you have and the three vital behaviors kind of thing. Um, okay. Before I go any further, is there anything in the group chat? I saw a bunch of things that hasn't been answered yet that you guys... No? Okay. All right. So then what I do, and Autumn is a perfect example of how I've, how, how I've done this, is that when you get a coach that signs on and is running with it, I do one-on-one -on -one messages. Since the day Autumn has signed on, we've been one-on-one -on -one messaging almost every day that do we talk. I don't think, honestly, a day has go, goes by that other than the cruise that I don't talk to her. And it's just little things like, this is what I'm dealing with, da da da, da and I give her ways to respond back. Even today, she said, this girl wanted to sign on, this happened, this happened, this happened, and I say, this is the message you should send. So it doesn't matter if they're Diamond or they're a brand new coach, the ones that want it, I am in, in close contact with them. And this is how I work my business. Some people may say, that stresses me out. I can't talk to somebody all day long. That's fine. But you can send 30 seconds and talk to them every day. Even if it's just like, hey, any, any objections I can help you with? Is there anything you're struggling with? Um, and this is, <laughs> April McDonald is autumn. <laughs> and this is um, really just my personally sponsored coaches until I do what I had you guys do yesterday, like your diamonds, who are your girls that have Emerald and who are your girls that have one coach? So I wrote all those names down because I can then know that these are you guys' gold chips. So the last time we talked and you guys gave me gold chips, I started a group chat with, um, I think it was like RPRH's gold chips. 
And I said, guys, I'm so excited. Your uplines have told me that you guys are the, the coaches on their team that are rocking it. And I wanted to say a special thank you for being so awesome. And I just am so proud of you. And I want you to tell me what you're struggling with and you know what you feel like your strengths are, what your weaknesses are. And I want this to be a group form so we can all help each other. And they have loved it. And, you know, even still to this day, sometimes they comment in there and they've kind of helped each other out. And a lot of times they'll ask questions in the group and it's answered before I even get to it. So that's a great idea for you to start doing too with your, you know, gold chips in your downline is I ask my coaches that are working, Hey, who are your coaches that want it? And then I message them and you can go as far down as you want because it inspires them to know that their coach believes in them. So even if it's somebody that, you know, was working and you're just, they're kind of hit or miss right now, sometimes that can be the fire that they need to get back going. I remember the beginning of 2015, one of the biggest things that Kelly told me that changed my business was start talking to your coaches, coaches. And I 100% believe that's why um, we were elite is because it wasn't just about me and my coaches. It was about our entire team. Tanner, are you raising your hand? I thought you were like raising your hand to talk. <laughs> okay. I was like, what? <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, group messaging and then one-on-one -on -one chatting with people has just been a game changer. And I really truly feel like besides Autumn being so awesome, I really feel like that was part of the reason why she was so successful was one, she had a, with her free group she runs, she had an awesome base, but also it wasn't like you have to figure it out on your own and we can talk once a week. It's that extra. And I don't do that with everybody. I do not have the time to do that with everybody. I only do that with people that really want to work business. Um, and then I talked to Sarah yesterday about this. So if you have people that are, have any successful points, maybe they're not SC five and you guys have seen this in the past that I've done this. Anybody with one to four points, I send them a message and I say, guys, I'm so proud of you guys. You're rocking it. I'm so excited that you have successful points on the board. You'll be on our leaderboard. I want you to hit successful five and know how good that feels. It's good. It's awesome to see that you've already changed lives, but you know, being in the three lives change is such a huge accomplishment. I can't wait to help you there. So tell me what people you're talking to, what objections you're getting and what three people you're inviting today, something like that. And then I have a success club five group and I say, you know, and I do this with just my PS coaches, but you could do it if you're, you know, team smaller, you could do it with anybody from your sponsorship drill down. And then I say success club five to nine and I put them in a group and I'm like, dudes, you are awesome. I can't believe you're already at success club and da 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 da. Um, who will hit it to tour? Who will make it till 10 this month? You know, this is a huge accomplishment, but I also have another group for my success club, 10 all stars that once you hit it, I'm going to put you there. And I'll even be like, you know, just say, you know, Sarah hit success club 10. Okay. Say bye to Sarah. She's leaving. <laughs> She's entering the cool kids club. And then I remove her and I add her to the next group. And it's kind of like a fun thing. Like, Oh, I want to be in that group. So you can always do that. And I like to do that. Um, monthly. And I don't think I've done that since January. I should get back on doing that. But that honestly made a big help. And two, it's kind of cool because it's another chat with people that are kind of on your same level. And a lot of times they'll ask questions or say things. And then the other people in there who are more their peers are talking and responding to their questions and stuff too. Um, and so another thing I kind of covered this, but I love to check in daily and I say, what three people are you inviting today? Because I, three people should be your minimum. So make them give your names and say, okay, and, and do you want to send me a screenshot of that? How did that go? Because they can tell you three names that they're going to invite, but say, okay, send me a screenshot so I can see how you did. And that makes it real like, crap, I really actually do have to message them. So that's something else that I found that's helpful. Um, ask about what objections they're getting. Give ideas on how to combat um, share testimonials, share my 60 second objection series on YouTube. I have six 60 second videos on how to combat objections. And there are some testimonials. Some are mine, some are other coaches from our team. The best thing you can do when people get objections is just say, girl, I totally understand how you feel. But what I found is X, Y, Z, and 
here's a sample of, you know, and the, especially the, the time excuse, I'm always using um, Autumn. I have a girl who has five kids. Come on. If she can do it, you can, you know, things like that. So, I, or I'll tell people with the money excuse, you know, my story, things like that. So, and it can be testimonials from you. It can be testimonials from other coaches on your team, but um, the 60 second series is really great to just kind of teach them how to, to do that and just kind of talk to them. Always keep your ears open for testimonials. Cause in the beginning you kind of forget when you didn't know any other coaches and you didn't know anybody like it's hard to just say, yeah, it is a lot of money, but you know, you can do it. You know, when you actually start to get testimonials, you take it for granted in the beginning that you don't know anybody. So that's another reason why I tell people make a success partner, talk to them about their story, things like that, you know, listen to other coaches in their story and use that later to, you know, combat objections. Um, one of my coaches one time was like, Oh, well I have this girl. She'd be perfect at coaching, but she's just got really studying for this. Um, it was like a series seven exam or something. And basically her job depended on it. If she didn't pass it, she would lose her job. So she just can't take on coaching right now. And I said, okay, well, so she's going to coach in January. That's great. But you know what you could tell her is buy a challenge pack and she's got to eat. So she can drink your shakes and she's working out anyway. So she can do that. And then she can even have results in the meantime. And then that will really set her apart and she'll actually have an easier time coaching once she's already had results. So things like that, she's like, oh, I didn't even think of that. So that's why you have people tell them the objections you're tell you the objections they're getting so that you can help them because it, as a new coach, you don't, you don't always think of these things. So that's why I love to say, okay, well, what, what are the, what objections are you getting like specifically so that you can teach them how to combat that? Um, <laughs> uh, talk about the importance of signing your spouse and significant other quickly for them to, you know, be able to benefit from the volume of any coaches you sign underneath them. There's a good video in the new welcome email I put together. And I think it's only like two or four minutes that talks about why signing your spouse or significant other or family member is so important uh, because of the volume and things like that. And then also just kind of talking to them about how being Emerald unlocks the compensation plan. If the biggest thing is like, sometimes in the beginning, I was like, you have to be Emerald, da, 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 da. And I never really gave any reason why. And when I was reading, I'm still reading the How to Win Friends and Influence People, this book, that kind of like totally unlocked so much stuff for me because you can't just tell somebody to hit Emerald. What is in it for them? And that's how you have to, and the same thing for Diamond. Like, you have to hit Diamond because I really want to be one star. How to Win Friends and Influence People. That's what it's called. And it's, it's so important for you to tell people the reason why you want to hit Emerald is it's going to unlock the compensation plan and you're going to start making a cycle bonus every week when you build your, as you build your team. And that's money that you don't even, you're not selling something to get that. That's money that you're receiving because you're building a successful team. And then those, te those coaches that you sign are able to help more people. So in the process, you're helping more people. You're expanding your network. You're getting to know and help even more people. So kind of just thinking about what their goals are, their why is, and reiterating that as to why Emerald will benefit them and Diamond will benefit them. I remember I did this with Ashley Lindsay and she's like, so I should be diamond. Okay. This is like months and months and months ago. She's like, okay, I'm diamond. Now what? <laughs> like she had no idea why she did it. She did it because I told her she had to. And you know, and because of that, it was something that she had just signed up coaches and it was like discount coaches. And then it kind of fell apart because she didn't really understand what it was when you just have a goal because someone tells you to have a goal. It's not something that you really want and you're going to fight to keep. So it's really important for you to, you know, get that across. Um, make them make a list. And I, this is so huge. Make them make a list. And this is in the girl boss Academy videos where I make, tell them make a list of 150 people. And if you have, if you're sending people the girl boss Academy, make sure you watch it. If you haven't yet, uh, if you want to make your own, I have the templates that I can even send you that. And you can take those, make them your own and record your own. But I think it's so important to have that and just kind of have something that's your own that is you telling them how to get started and stuff. Yes, just remind me, because I'll forget. Um, <laughs> and then, um, but yeah, I tell them, make a list of 150 people. And if you go to the Coach Online office, there's a thing called Memory Jogger under like the news, 
the training. And that says like people you work with, people you went to school with, people who, you know, we, like you played sports with, people who cut your hair, people you went to church with. And that's what I tell them to use. I tell them to go to their Facebook friends, go through their phone, use the memory jogger and get a list of 150 people and have them star everybody who I think that they would, who everybody they think would be a good coach. So that's kind of a good way. Like that's already probably going to give them at least 10 to 20 people that are our coach prospects right there. And so don't, don't forget to make them do that because make, starting from a list is so important. In the beginning, people think that they can just talk to whoever. They don't have to write people down. So I also talk about with my, my people that are go-getters, I talk to them about the importance of getting structured and building something that works for them right away. Everybody is different excuse me, some people do Excel, some people have notebooks, some people have planners, and that's fine. But everybody has to have a system because as you grow your business, you will forget. Because I was like, oh yeah, I just remember, remember. Well, when you're only talking to 10 people, that's fine. But as you're, you grow, I am so glad I write people down because if I go back two weeks ago, I'm like, oh my God, I totally forgot that person sent me a woo form. I never followed up with them. So that's why you write everybody down because people will just fly right out your brain. You won't remember them. Um, and then the power of posting. My post group has been so awesome. And I really love the week that I run that because I look through my news feed, which is basically all coaches on our team now. <laughs> and I see all of these really awesome, engaging, really good posts. And so I have that schedule that I can send you. It's already created. And then all you do is just, you would change like your target market on one day. And then you would just take an example, you would find one of your posts that fit it and just copy and paste your URL. So I have all the hard work, the template done for you. I'll post that in the diamond group so that all you would have to do is post your um, URL of example posts instead of mine. So they can see you as a, a leader. And Sarah and Tanner already did this. I actually got this idea from Sarah. She's been doing this for a while. Um, and I just think it's so important because the biggest thing I feel like in the beginning is people don't know what to say, don't know how to talk to people, and they don't know what to post. So once you do that, I think the posting is really going to help them hit Emerald too. And diamond, you know, with getting more people. And anytime I say, if you see people like or comment on your post and they're not on your list, get them on your list. And that's a great way too to see who's paying attention to you. Um, also, talk about your favorite apps. Don't be afraid to share. And this is something I'm so guilty of. I forget. I forget that I have new coaches that don't know everything I know and I don't think I share enough. So, talk about your favorite apps that you have. Talk about things that work for you. Don't be afraid to repeat yourself. And this is again, something that I'm like, Oh my gosh, I forgot that I haven't shared this in a while or haven't. I just kind of take it for granted that people know what I know and they do not. So do not be afraid to repeat yourself because every month you have new coaches and they need to hear that stuff too. Um, let's see what else. Stress the importance of being proof the product works and having before and afters. If you have somebody that's really struggling with them, I would send them the recording of the Daniel Natoni call. And I think that's even in my post group that I have them do that. It's in one group, I forget. But she talks about how you are going to have a before and after with one program, day one to day 21 or day one to day 60 or a three day refresh. But the sooner that you have a, you know, don't do a hybrid, the sooner that you have a before and after, the sooner people are going to really start believing in what you're doing. So I stress the importance of that because when people are like, well, I'm going to the gym, I'm kind of following the 20 fix meal plan, not really seeing your results. I'm like, well, you're getting 50% of the program because you're only doing, you know, or 50% of the results because you're only doing 50% of the program. And I was that person. I was, I was a gym rat when I started and then I was training for marathons and I wasn't really being all in with the workouts and things like that. And I can tell you that it 100% changed my business when I am all in and I'm posting videos and I'm talking about it versus just being like, well, I ran 10 miles today. I attracted runners when I was talking about running and not that I haven't converted some of them to coaches, but it's a lot easier to attract people to the beach body programs you're doing and turn them into coaches than, you know, talking to somebody about CrossFit or running like Tanner's, you know, has the same story when she started doing the programs, she noticed a huge difference with her business. So being proof the product works, talking to them about that call, making sure that they listen to that national wake up call and knowing the importance of having results. Cause that's when people really start believing that this works 
they don't want to know what's in Shakeology. They don't want to know what, they just want to know that it works. And until they see results, a lot of people are skeptical because there's this, that, and the other on the market, and they don't want somebody else to try to sell them another damn thing. So they want to see your results. And the sooner you get that, the sooner you can get those people that are on the fence on board. Um, and then the last thing I wanted to talk about is power hours and talking and inviting your team and making those non-negotiable. We were so good at that. And then I don't know what happened, but it kind of went out the window. And so, you know, I, that to me is something that when I was doing that every day and I saw my team was doing that every day, I saw so much volume growth with people in consistently inviting and consistently doing what they should be doing every day in just an hour a day. I was getting so much more done that was taking me four hours previously. So um, I'm doing mine at 8.30 and it's usually just Sarah and I, um, but anybody that wants to join can and you know, make it something that's non-negotiable. I kept saying seven and then it wasn't happening, it wasn't happening, it wasn't happening. April, you're not gonna get up at seven and be ready in time, so just stop, <laughs> you know? So you don't, you want it to be something that's consistent that they know that they can show up at, so that was you know, kind of my bad. Um, but find a time that works for you and just kind of make it non-negotiable, just like your team call. You're not gonna schedule a hair appointment on the night of your team call, you know it's happening. It's, it's non-negotiable. So kind of things like that is teaching your team, you know, the speed of the leader is the speed of the pack. So doing that and teaching them at least what a power hour is so that they wanted to do it with somebody else on their team at a different time that they can. So that was kind of all I had for helping people to hit Emerald and Diamond. Um, what questions do you guys have or what other tips or suggestions do you have to add? Because I am going to show, share this with our team. So this will help, you know, your downline and other stuff too. And let me read through. Sarah, how did your group go with everybody on with the Success Club? You're muted. Sorry. It's really, really good. And I was just like, I added all of these people, some like I really haven't built, built much of a relationship with, like my coaches' coaches. And all of a sudden, they're spitting out all this stuff. Like, I don't know if they don't feel comfortable posting in the group forum, like in my team page, but I'm like, oh my gosh, like, what do you mean? Like, this is what you have going on and you haven't spoke up at all. Like, mm -hmm. these are people who have not even so much as liked, commented on anything, gotten on a team call, nothing. Mm -hmm. And so it's really good. Like, um, what's cool is what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to empty everyone out as soon as the month is over. Mm -hmm. And then as they get on the board, I'll, you know, I'll put it on. And I love the one-on-one -on -one conversation thing. You know, that was something that I kind of pulled away from because I felt like it was very time consuming, but I really, really think that right now, like the stability and confidence of my team is really where it's at to like, I need to keep those conversations consistent. But it's so funny because like some people are easier to talk to than others. Like some people you just can't get a, like a fluid conversation out of. Mm -hmm. Like, it's like, hi, how are you? Good. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know, so it's like, Talk, you want to talk to them all day and it's just like it doesn't go that way well that's okay because that's I mean you don't need to talk to them all day like I love Autumn so I'm always talking to her and I'm yeah. always talking to you know you, Sarah and Tanner and stuff and so like um it's just about not you know getting in and getting out if you don't feel like it's you know super easy but it's kind of the same thing as like when you have a client that you're not sure about what to talk to them about be interested in them. And so see what questions that you can ask them right. and you can get to know them. And if they shared a cute picture of their kids, talk to them about that um, to try to, you know, break that barrier. It's just kind of the same thing as getting to know them more personally. So you know what interests them. And so you have other things to talk about too. But yeah, good. Um, what did you write on? Team calls. What do you all talk about? I think that would help as a team or group effort to hit Emerald to see others signing on their significant others may help them decide to do it. Post that video. Um, I think I posted it in my team page and I could share it with you, Autumn, the team video, like significance of signing your spouse. It like hits it every point. Like, are you talking about um, the one that was the, um, the one that we just put in the welcome email? Um, 
I'm not sure. I think it was the one from the Diamond Dash to Diamond um, group. Okay. That I shared. But. Here and Run Pink, because yeah. yeah, I'm not sure which one you're. There's so many of them, so I'm not sure which one you're talking yeah. about. And it, people were like, "Oh." Mm-hmm. Hi. <laughs> Um, another thing that I do for team calls is I do, I do based off what personal development I'm doing that week. Anything that I found personal development wise, I'm going to kind of take notes on and I'm going to tell them. Um, you know, I just talked to an, a one girl. I was like, Hey, I need some new PD. What do you suggest? And she's, you know, a nine star qualifying coach and, uh, or nine star diamond coach. And she was like, I just did a team call on, uh, bridging the gap of fear or something. I forget what it was called, but she did a whole team call on it. So, you know, when you find good PD that you really love, like Tanner, I know you love the jab, jab, right hook. You could do a whole team call on that, you know, and your team calls in the beginning. That's fine if they're only 30 minutes, fine if they're only 20 to 30 minutes. Um, Save room for questions, get in, get out, you know, things. Um, You can also ask other people to host calls and things like that. I know you guys are doing the the, um, pot of goals right now. So that's kind of the same thing, but you know, tonight we have on our team call, I have a girl, she went from signing on January, 2015 to being elite in 2015, like crazy. So, you know, when you find other people that are like, what, you know, and once you hit two star, it's, it's, you get added to groups and you get to make a lot of connections outside of your team. So that really helps too. But you know, not, don't be afraid to, if people ask you to do a team call, yeah, sure. Let's do a call swap, things like that, because you're just, going to put in more information into your downline kind of thing. But yeah, I would say personal development and just think about things that you struggle with and put that into how you combat it and think about things that you get questions from your coach coaches and just put those into your tips. Like today, all I did when I, I wanted to talk about popping emeralds cause that's what I have had so many people. And I just, I didn't even do anything. I just went through my head and what do I do to help people? hit emerald and I just wrote it down. So, you know, it doesn't have to be anything. You don't have to make a PowerPoint for it. You can just be you giving your, your tips of what works for you, you know, and what works for you isn't going to work for everybody, but all you can do is share and they can make it their own. And that's exactly what every coach does. They take it. That's what you guys did. You took the information I gave you, you made it your own and you know, I can do. So any other questions that you guys have? Um, what's a good PD suggestion when you, when somebody tells you they're, they don't know how to talk to people. I have two girls right now and I'm like, sometimes I'm just so like, I don't know how to teach you how to not be. Yeah. <laughs> um, so what kind of like personal development do you think would work or suggestions? Maybe the jab, jab, jab. I don't know. Because that's about posting. I don't know. I have people too that are afraid to post and I'm just like, well, that's where we're going to leave this. I don't know what to say. (laughs) Yeah. I just, I, maybe the go for no would be good. I don't know. You just, you're muted, Tanner. No, it says I'm unmuted. You're good. Oh, I I could, it looked like you were talking. Nothing was good. Um, there was something you posted. It was like a month into me being a coach or something that talked all about confidence and being shy and all this stuff. I have to, I need to go search and see what it was. I did. It was a YouTube video. It was like a 20 minute YouTube. Video. It was some black guy talking about um, being shy and stuff, but it was like a big eye opener for me. He talks all about how um, being shy and is selfish. And if you go into a conversation thinking, how can I just help this person? It takes all that pressure off. So, um, Shalene Johnson did a podcast about that too. I'm sure she did. She talked a lot about that, but it was some dude, he was kind of weird. He was like, Ooh, calming waters, blah, blah, blah. Oh, but then, I think I remember now. You know what I'm talking about, but his video was really good. I tried to listen to some of his other ones and they were just weird. Cause he's really like, hippie but that one video was awesome so I feel like it might be somebody Kelly knew probably but I can't I can't think it might have been I'm not sure um but yeah it was a really good video all right yeah I'll have to see if I can find that um but yeah I think just PD is what they need for that in the most part and just knowing that if you're not sharing you're not helping so if you're going to be afraid, fine. You're not going to help people. Kind of thing. 
And I look back at conversations that I had when I was first a coach. Like some, what I do is a lot of times, like a girl reached out to me about coaching or something. The last time I had talked to her was like 2014 or something. And I look back and like our conversation, I was like, ew, <laughs> like looking at what I had said to her. And so, you know, it wasn't always great and it didn't, but it still worked. It wasn't, oh, you found it? Yes. Um, it's really weird, but it's, it spoke to me at, at that point at the beginning of a coach, as at the beginning of being a coach. So what's weird about it? That's the way he talks. Him. He comes in, he's like, Ooh, combing waters. Like he's really weird, but I guess I can't put it in here. Uh, I'll just message it to you. Yeah, send it to me in a message and I'll, I'll share it. Cause I, I, in the April's coaching fam, I asked what people were having trouble with. And a, a lot of them said inviting coaches, talking to people, being consistent and having a schedule. That was kind of like the biggest things that I got. So okay. I'll share that. So um, anything else you guys are struggling with or need help with or? Yes, you got our diamond back. Yay. <laughs> uh, oh also Jesse, I, I know because you're not sure when this baby will come but I would just make sure that you're taking a look and having um, a backup you know making sure that sure. You, you can get two emeralds on each side making sure that you're gonna have enough active because you are gonna want to take time off obviously um, and if you I want you to make sure that you tell your coaches your gold shifts I would maybe start a message with me and them now so that you can just say if anything happens I want you to come into here April can help you guys can help each other kind of thing so just kind of tell them to treat me as their coach while you're while you're out okay mm -hmm. so yeah I have two on my right side and then um Carly and well Michael's gonna sign up her husband I guess April 1st now so because I guess she can hit Success Club 5 this month or next month in order for success starters. So she said she wants to wait and do it because she has three other girls signing up April 4th. So she wants to, like, make sure she can hit Success Club in April. Okay. Um, so I two on each side after that. Yeah, the biggest thing is that, yes, signing up your spouse is important, but you also need to get them somebody else because – I'm going to tell you, nine out of 10 times, people are going to come back and be like, I don't have the money to keep us both active. Mm -hmm. So you need to sit, talk to them about signing coaches. Yes, it's important to sign your spouse, but that's not your, you're not banking on that. That's not right. going to be the diamond because you will always get somebody that's like, I just, we have too much, Jaco. Yeah. <laughs> Which get is, the performance bundle. Yeah. If, Which is fine though, because sometimes. I mean, sometimes people really don't have the money. And so then you're like, okay, let's get you another coach. Let's get you some cycle bonus so you can afford that kind of thing. So just kind of really focusing on it's not done once you sign your spouse. You've got to and, – and talk to them about securing their emerald just as much as you want to secure your diamond. You don't want to lose rank kind of thing. Well, I do um, two calls a month, emerald shooting for diamond. So they all jump on that, and they're really consistent with it. I don't know where they've been all year, but they started working their business oh, lately. Yeah. So. Okay, so what do those Emerald to Diamond calls look like? What do you guys go over? Well, I just started doing it like yesterday, but I started off with like a diamond tracker like you did with us with just like marking X's on how close you are to diamond. Mm -hmm. and, um, I kind of went off of that. So okay. I think I threw my notes away from yesterday already, but um, only Marcy jumped on, but then I like recorded it and posted it and then the girls all commented on it underneath so and and what I would do too is kind of make it like exclusive like that it's really cool and that you don't get to be on it unless you're emerald um yeah, they're, they're in a totally separate group like I don't yeah. even have them in my coaches group yeah but I also let those other coaches know that that's going on mm -hmm. um and that was something that was really hard for me because I just think that I thought you guys wouldn't get anything out of or want to show up to a diamond call with me. And then when I brought it up, you guys were like, oh my gosh, yes, I've been wanting this. I'm like, oh, okay, good to know. So just kind of don't think, don't assume people won't want to do another call. They won't want to do another this, or be, but, you know, kind of play it up and let them know, like, I don't share all our diamond calls with our team. If they want to find it on YouTube, they can, but it's something that I, I do because you guys are you know, really people that are working and put, set yourself aside and you get to be live one-on-one -on -one if I have somebody host, you know, like the, the Facebook guy and things like that. So, um, 
yeah, I would, I would do the kind of things like that too, that just kind of talk it up. Mm -hmm. So, um, anything else? Oh, also with success club, you know, I, I would start, once your team starts to grow, I would also start a separate group for your personally sponsored coaches, because that's going to really help you in hitting elite is getting them on board. So, you know, I used to just do raffles with everybody and now my raffles are make my PS coaches here and there. I'll do one with all of our downline, but having your PS coaches work to sign three coaches is really going to help you in elite points, you know, things like that. When do you start doing that? Or when do you think is a good time to like have that new group? Um, I mean, honestly, whenever, because it's just another, it's another group. I don't really add a ton of files or anything into that group because I have the Google drive now. So I put everything there. So it's not like you have to do a bunch of files over. It's kind of like, this is my exclusive group. This is where we do monthly giveaways for just our team. This is where, you know, I can share things first with you guys or, you know, things like that. Um, I, my, you know, my April's coaching fam isn't super, I don't talk in there a whole lot. Yeah. Um, I do because I don't think you, a lot of the stuff I'm like, well, I want to share this with everybody, but, um, I do post things in there that are important because sometimes run pink, everything gets so lost because there's so many people in it. And then I do always do my raffles in there and things like that. Right. So yeah. Um, yeah, but I think that's all I have. So anything else from anybody? Okay. All right, so our team call tonight um, is at seven, and then I, that, I'm just so excited about it. I just seriously don't even understand how that's even possible. So I'm excited to see what she does. Um, definitely talk it up to your team um, and just kind of let people know we can only have 25 people on, so first come, first serve. What's the topic, April? She's basically telling you how she's hit elite in one year. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah, just tell people hop on and first come first serve because I can only host 25, unfortunately, but I wonder, I was thinking about it and maybe I should do a, I, April, I think you can do 50. Didn't we look into this for the pot of gold call? You can do 50, I think. Everyone, every think level is 99 a month. I think it's, it holds up to 50. 9.99? 14.99. I don't pay 14.99. I didn't even see oh. this as an option. Oh, I'll go upgrade today. So what do you, what do you, did you pay it all in one piece? Yeah. Or do you do monthly? I pay monthly. What do you pay? You got it like before their rates went up or something. Because I did a live chat with them when we were looking into the pot of goals call because we didn't know how many people we would end up getting. Yeah. And they said every level gets 50. I felt like it was not letting people on one time. Okay. Okay, so we should be good. You don't have the free version, right? You pay for it. Yeah, so yeah, you should get 50. Okay, all right, cool. All right, well, I will share that in the group um, now and tag your people. And um, I'm going to share this, upload, share this too. I think this will be a really good one to share with your gold chips. So. Awesome. All right, thanks, guys. I'll see you. Later.